In this dread video, I'm going to be doing a mixture of the sea salt, the lemon and the hot water mix. And this is pretty much combining a lot of the other videos that I've done on dread tighteners and putting them into one like mixture, so enjoy. For this dread mixture, you're going to need your lemons and your knife to cut your lemons. Get about two lemons, I suppose. Uh, your lemon strainer, make sure you've got a lemon strainer. Your sea salt, make sure it's sea salt because regular salt won't cut it. Just your spoon to mix with. And your hot water, so your sea salt dissolves in your water. Because what a lot of people do, they just put sea salt in cold water and it's going to take longer to dissolve. And sometimes you get the grains in your hair and that'll just drive your scalp itchy, so make sure you use hot water so it dissolves. And your spray bottle, you don't need the spray bottle, but I find it easier when you're working with a lot of these different things, so make sure you got them. That's all your essentials. To start it, you're going to have to cut one of your lemons, of course, and strain it naturally. That's what I'm going to start doing. When you're picking lemons, you should probably pick a good one, one that doesn't have any marks or spots on it. Uh, might just move the camera. And strain both your lemons. Just. Now once you've strained both your lemons, just throw them aside, you don't need them anymore. You're going to start straining the lemon juice into the hot water. Make sure it's hot water. And you don't want to get any pulp in there, so make sure you do this well, I suppose. You don't want any pulp or seeds because it just looks gross in your hair. And a bit of a slow process. Got a noodle strainer, probably just does as well. Now once you reckon you've strained enough of your lemon in there, I know I have, you're going to grab your sea salt. <sighs> sea salt. Give it a few pinches. Now watch my, watch my other video on how many pinches you should probably put in with sea salt. I just do a fair few. Make it salty. I'm gonna get a spoon, stir it up. Make sure it's well stirred. Then you're gonna grab you're gonna grab your squirty bottle. The reason I use a squirty bottle is because most of them have this little filter on the end. And that can just filter out any bigger grains of salt or pulp of lemon that you miss when you're straining. You want to strain that into there. Fuck, I might do it over here. Once you've got it in your bottle, you screw in your lid on. Give it a bit of a shake and a bit of a whirl. Probably want to give it a few minutes just to cool down. This bottle is actually starting to get soft where it's too hot. <laughs> anyway, shake it up and then grab a dread. You want to actually pull this out, reckon, go upside down so you've got more choice over where you can spray your dreads. This, get a few sprays. My bottle's not working. Damn it. Mm. Ah, here we are. Now the bottle's working. Yeah. Give them a good spray. Make sure you're not spraying on your scalp, because it can get pretty itchy having sea salt on it, of course. So they're spraying on the dreads. And ah. once you've given them a good spray, you want to go over and give them a bit of a palm roll. Once you give them a palm roll, you should probably just hang out in the sun for the rest of the day because that's going to really help them lock up even further. And that's about it for the video. Enjoy. Oh, and do this once in the morning after your washes. So that means your hair is the driest and the cleanest. It's going to be able to really take the mixture well. So after your washes, make sure of that. And probably only do it 
twice a week if you if you must. That's it for the sea salt lemon juice water mix. I've got videos prior to this one that are similar to this one that help dreads lock when they're young, when they're when they need locking I suppose. So check out some of my older videos. Oh I forgot to add. Also when you do this, if you don't want your dreads to be lightened, you might want to dilute the lemon a little more because the citrus will kind of bleach your hair a little bit. Now I don't mind in my dreads because they are a bit experimental so I reckon the lighten looks pretty cool as well. So I'm not going to worry about that but if you don't want your dreads to be lightened then dilute the, uh, the lemon. And hang out in the sun afterwards because it's also going to really help tighten them up and hanging out in the sun actually helps lighten them a bit too so that's about it for that one. Uh, yeah, check out some other videos. Oh, there's another guy, um, Keeping It Wheat. He's another dreadlock YouTuber, Jack Maiden. He's got some sick dread videos. He's had his dread for three years. So they've, he's got a lot of progression videos and ways to help deal with loose hair. Oh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Shout out to him, Keeping It Wheat. And check out some of my videos again. I don't know. Enjoy this video.